Welcome back. Welcome to tonight's broadcast, Not Live. My next guest is a great actor who's been in some of my favorite movies. Please welcome Elijah Wood. Amazing band, aren't they? I was just, yes, I was just, indeed. you're from New Orleans, right? Yes, right. I was just there two weeks ago. Oh, look at that. You guys, I just go, you guys just chat for a while. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do that. It's fine with me, it's like a vacation. Now, um, <laughs> uh, you're in Dirk uh, Gently's Holistic Detective Agency, which is a yes. great book by Douglas Adams, the guy who did Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's right. And it's on BBC America, and I want to talk about that in a second, but okay. first, you just came back from something called Fantastic Fest? Fantastic Fest. What yeah. is Fantastic Fest? It's a genre film festival that happens in Austin, Texas. So genre meaning? Genre meaning anything from horror films to sci-fi to action films. Uh, this year, I think that Spotlight was on Indian cinema, so they had a lot of Bollywood films there. Okay. So anything that is uh, encapsulated by genre. Fantastic cinema. And what do you do? Can you walk around that, or do you just get mobbed, everybody? Because these are your peoples. Because you're, you're not only a fan of it, but right. you're also a darling. I mean, you're, you're in these movies. This is true. It happens to be one of these festivals, though, that doesn't separate the fan from the filmmakers and some of the actors who are in them. And there's a lot of respect for that. So everybody just intermingles, and they're all there for the same reason, which is to watch these movies and uh -huh. celebrate cinema. And, and I understand that the people give up free tattoos there? Yeah, so four, <laughs> four years ago, they started giving free tattoos out at the closing night party. Uh -huh. And I missed that year, but every year, consequently, I've gone and gotten a tattoo. You get the free tattoo. And I have a tattoo band around my arm. Can I, well, can Would you like to see? Yeah, sure. Love, 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 love. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow. So... What? So it started, uh, that's four years ago. That, that's um, a firecracker. We've got a ray gun, a rubber chicken, <laughs> and then this is the new guy. It's a kaiju. Can we see that clearly? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Right yeah. There. Right there. Right there. Can you make the kaiju dance? <laughs> like a little flex of the muscle, does that? Look at the guns on Elijah Wood, man. There you go. Here, Thank here you very go, much. Go. There you go. Thank you. There you go, sir. Very nice. So, yeah, I have a... Well, that's very brave of you to I... go for the free tattoo, because when I hear the words free tattoo, I think hepatitis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a yeah. silly thing. But you also DJ, right? I, understand. I do, yeah. You do, like, do you like, do it of, like professionally? Yeah, I mean, semi-professionally. It's a hobby. Um, I mean, I play in music venues. Uh -huh. In November, I'm actually going to Europe with my friend Zach, and we're going to play multiple cities across you, Europe. You, you guys days. are Wooden Wisdom? Wooden Wisdom, You're Wooden yeah. Wisdom. Do you have, like, what's your, what are your DJ... Do you have DJ moves or anything like that? Are you one of these guys? Like, one of these guys? <laughs> no, or are you just, like, basically hit the iPod and sit oh, back no. and... No, no. No, so it's all records, it's all vinyl. Oh, it's all vinyl, that's fantastic. So anything can happen, anything can go, can dance, go wrong. Right? Dance, yeah. You dance. So put a song on, crossfade it over, and then typically we'll dance. And because it's two of us, yeah. it gives us a little bit more license. Because I think uh -huh. if I were just standing behind the thing by myself, it would feel weird to dance. <laughs> but because it's two of us, we can kind of inter we can have that interplay together. Uh -huh. But it's a lot of fun. And no, just no doubt. seeing an audience sort of respond to what you're playing. And I mean, I suppose it's sort of what you do, standing in front of these Very people. Very similar. You get a yeah. response. Yeah, I'm a, jo I'm a joke. I'm a joke DJ. You're a joke DJ. I'm a DJ. joke DJ. All right, so the show is called uh, Dirk uh, Gently's Holistic uh, Detective, Detective Agency. Agency. Correct. And uh, again, it was written by Douglas, Douglas Adams, Adams, who did Hitchhiker's Guide. And you play a, 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 a rock guy, right? Who was, who was your character? Uh, his name is Todd Bratzman. He used to have a band, mm -hmm. yeah, a punk band uh, called Mexican Funeral. And he, yeah, he plays guitar. Mm -hmm. And Dirk wants your help to he, solve. He, so Dirk gently, if and probably if any of you are familiar, um, Dirk is a detective, but he's not a detective that uses anything traditional in regards to how, how detectives solve cases. So he doesn't look for clues, no fingerprint evidence, no witnesses. It's all intuition and uh, a, a feeling that he'll be led in the right direction. And he comes into Todd's life by breaking into his apartment and sort of declaring that Todd is his assistant, having never met this person in his life. 
Uh, so you can imagine how my character deals with that and ultimately gets thrust into this seriously mad case. Well, we don't have to involved. imagine it because uh, you were kind enough to bring a clip. Oh, yes. Jim? Hi. What are you still doing here? What are you doing here? I live here. Right, but where are you going? Didn't you say you lost your job? No, I didn't say that, actually. How do you... I'm a detective. I'm on a case. You worked at that hotel where the murders took place. Been all over the news, for people who still watch the news, you know, old people and me, occasionally. Was I on TV? Would it be bad for you if you were? None of your business. Uh, maybe it is, though. No, it isn't. Where are you going? None of your business. You don't even know my business. Maybe I'm a cab driver. You just said you were on a case. Maybe I have two jobs. <laughs> so part of the mystery is he doesn't even know. He isn't entirely sure what he's doing. Not at all. The, uh, the motto of the book is, everything is connected. Yeah. Okay, do you think that everything is connected? Do you think that's true? I do. I do, but I, I think that there's so many different ways that you can go about believing that. I think there's a lot of people who believe in the notion of fate. fate and I think I believe in fate with uh, willpower, with the ability to change your own life. Because there's a... But that's like, not fate, then. Because will, the, the will, like, will to power, will, it, will in the world is different than fate. It eradicates fate. But I, yeah. but I do believe that things happen for a reason. I believe we meet people that we're meant to meet. I believe that, to a certain degree, I feel a sense of a path. But I also believe in free will. I'd I love totally, to know your I totally, I totally of, believe that, uh, that things happen for a reason. I, matter of fact, uh, uh, two years ago, at the closing party for the Colbert Report, I actually said to one of my producers, who's a big fan of, of The Lord of the Rings, Matt Lappin, I said to him at the party, I'm glad you're here with me, Matt, here at the end of all things. Yeah. <laughs> and I turned around, and you were right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Things happen for a reason. They do indeed. Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency premieres this Saturday at 9 p.m. on BBC America. Elijah Wood, everybody. We'll be right back with Jorge Ramos.